I want to just share with you this morning and then I'm going to ask um, Dawn just to quickly share in terms of the nation and things like that. Just a, a little bit on the vision of the company of the prophets and I want to start off by saying that this is not an exclusive group. This is not an exclusive um, group of people that get together with titles and with um, opinions. And this is a platform and this is a, a group of men, so a group of people that come together based on relationship and based on common good, a, a, a common value, a heart um, value, something that we understand what God is doing in this time for this season, for this nation. And um, on my um, on our relationship with Anita and Andres and, and Paul, the one thing that is common between us is what is going to happen to the next generation. If we, as leaders who've been leading this company for th uh, this well this company in the nation for 30, 40 years, we've been teaching, training, we've done a lot of pioneering and we're not getting younger, what's going to happen to the next generation? And so this is not an exclusive group of people that are called together by titles, but the heart of it is to really give birth to the next generation, to provide platforms for credible ministers that are called into the um, seven mountain principle and that can really lay a foundation for the next generation. Um, our nation is in a state, the church is in a state and so this is a time and a season where God is restoring apostolic and prophetic governmental order to the house, to the nation to business, to media to um, uh, the education and so it's going to need a people that have that mandate and that are called to that, that have an understanding and have the heart of God and the mind of God not just for today but for generations following. Amen.